Good afternoon everybody, happy Sunday. Where has the weekend gone? It's like flown by. Um, very, very, very late in the afternoon starting this vlog. It's currently just gone half past three. Um, reason being is today's video is as decorating for Christmas. I don't want to start the vlog early in the morning and then it'd be like super long and probably super boring. Um, this morning I went over to my mum's house to pick up a suitcase and just have a bit of more of a natter. I mean, we had a natter yesterday, but we had a bit more of a natter. I um, haven't actually seen my mum in quite a while because they've been on holiday to Malta for a week and before that, you know, life's just busy, isn't it? And I used to go over and see her every Monday um, because Summer used to go to the musical theatre club over there, but she doesn't go to that club anymore. Um, lots of various reasons why she doesn't go um, to that club, but mainly because she really needs to focus on her schoolwork. And as Kev said, I think in the vlog the other day, he went to her academic tutoring, parents' evening, and they said that she's doing so well. They have like a little graph sort of thing, like a, like a, you know, like a plotting graph. And they plot their, you know, everything goes into it, like behavior, homework, progress, predicted, um, all of those sort of things, all get inputted into a system and it plots you on a graph. And then over the years that you're at secondary school, the graph, you know, goes up, down. Hopefully you want it to be going up and up and up and up. Well, anyway, Summers was going going the wrong way. It was going, going too much down. So she's now doing less clubs, um, less late nights, and her progress is actually higher. Her little graph dot is now higher than it was even in year seven when she started. So that's really good. Anyway, that wasn't part of what I was, that wasn't what I was planning to come on and say. Um, yeah, I went, to, I went to my mum's this morning, had a good catch up, used to see her all the time, don't get to see her as often anymore, so it's nice to uh, to see her. Then we picked Kev up from work, went to Sainsbury's, but the Sainsbury's that Reese works in, to get some bits and bobs that we needed for today. Um, and then we've been home. Kev's jet washed all of the windows out the front of the house. We've done a tip run. Um, basically we're going to decorate for Christmas and I was like do you know what I'm not decorating the outside of our house until the kitchen window because we don't have many windows on the front of our house down low but we've got a big like bay kitchen window so that window is absolutely bogging there's a whole load of stuff in the front garden that needs taken to the tip that make you know it just makes the place super scruffy um I want to do all of that first so we did that anyway I'm gonna have to start driving because I'm going to pick up um Bella which is Reese's girlfriend and pick up Reese. So Reese finishes work at four and I said I'll pick Bella up before I pick him up. Um, so yeah, so I said I wanted to get that done. So Kev's done that and now he's just inside making a quiche with Sienna. So I did say in the, this man parks his van here behind me, makes it so difficult to get off my driveway. But our, like, I think everyone in the road must look at me and go, why don't you reverse onto your driveway? The reason is, is our house is built up onto like a big concrete plinth um, because we're at the bottom of a slope. So our house is like built up on this huge chunk of concrete. And if I reverse the car on, the back doors of the car open onto um, that, that concrete and the kids have already, you know, just the few times that I have reversed on, smashed the hell out of the, um, the doors of the car. Um, so that's why I drive on. But anyway, he gets my way. Now I've gone off again. I don't know what I was talking about. Yeah, Kev's making a quiche with Sienna because we're having cheese and like, you know, like a festive nibbly tea. Um, but Sienna requested um, quiche. So yeah, Felicity requested dippy cheese and Riley. I don't think Riley's requested anything because obviously he's been feeling super rubbish all week, but he's all better now. Um, just trying to remember to still give him his antibiotics, even though he's better because it's not a 10 day course. Um, and obviously the last thing I want to do is it to come back. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head and pick up Bella and pick up Reese and then go home and start setting up for Christmas. I've just been um, having a good cleaning up of the front room, good tidy up and moving what bit of furniture needed moving to make room for the Christmas tree. So I've done all that to so pick up these teenagers and then head home and get ready for Christmas. So Bella and Reese have put up the tree. The girls are having a go at separating the branches. Um, Oh, it was you and Bella that put it up, was uh, it? I observed. Oh, Reese just observed. Um, the kids have been going through all of the um, the bags of Christmas stuff. There's stuff everywhere. Um, it's like Christmas already. Maybe we don't need to have Father Christmas visit. We just have to get the Christmas stuff down. Because no. you've been so excited about finding all the books and all the clothes. They found all of their um, Advent books from when I did a book ad Advent a few years ago. Um, I pack them away every Christmas. They just found all of those, didn't you? Yeah. Which one are we reading tonight? 
all of them. All of them? I don't think I've got time to read 24 books tonight. Yeah. No. What's all around your face, missus? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Not quite, babe. We're going to have to do a little bit more. Um, so we've decided to go with putting up our artificial tree this year instead of um, getting a real one because obviously we're going away and if we had a real one, by the time we'd get home, it would probably be dead. So we've yeah, gone for getting out. Custard would too. And custard would just continuously eat it, doesn't he? Every time there's a real one. I've had to order new lights this year because last year custard chewed through the wire. No, don't eat that, Sienna. It's gross. Is this basically grass? No, it's not basically grass. It's plastic. It's lots of plastic. No, a real one. I've put the lights on and I've just gone to put the baubles on it. There aren't any baubles. I think they must still be up in the roof. Only problem is, is Kev's, he's just gone to the shop to buy some Borsin cheese because I didn't buy any and apparently we have to have it. Uh, anyway, he's rubbed some fiberglass from the um, insulation in his eye and his eye's like all red and sore and bloodshot. And now I've got to tell him he's got to go back up in the roof. Yes, Sienna. Um, can, can I do my t-shirt? In a minute. Yeah, let's squeeze into a jumper that's probably about an age 12 to 18 months. Um, it's, it's tiny, Sienna. And um, they were just dragging out all the clothes. But I've got hundreds of baubles and they must still be up in the roof. In a minute, Sienna. Um, so, yeah, Kev's not going to be very happy when he walks back in in a second. Felicity. Felicity. <laughs> I just can't. Yeah. I just can't with you today. You look amazing. Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Felicity elf number one down there. And then we've got Seven this eyes. one in an age hey, probably 12 to 18 months jumper. I don't know what I think. I am a penguin. <laughs> Who left that little pole? The North Pole. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Reese, you're getting involved, aren't you? I'm babysitting the dog. <laughs> and why would babysitting the dog? Because there's cheese outside. Because there's cheese in the kitchen. No, I'm going back to my bed. I'm going back to my bed, Mum. Night, then. Excuse me. You're playing rough play. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, it's probably because my phone's run that back. Oh, Kayla, do you want to find some batteries for this? No, oh, God. No, no, no. <laughs> we still have him. No. No, let's not find batteries for that. Let's find batteries for him and put him in Reese's room. There might be a rat back there. A rat? I should hope not. Is that a chimney? Yes, Reese. Why don't we knock it out? No, we're not. Okay, let's suck the bubbles. <laughs> There should be a whole bag of pink baubles up there. Oh my goodness, look at the state of those spiders up there. What the f Reese. Oh my god, no, that's not even a I'm not even having a giggle. <laughs> <laughs> let me down, let me down, let me down. Look at that! They seem to have just vanished. So we're going to have a pause from Christmas decorating, which is not going very well, um, and have dinner. We've got some homemade quiche um, cheese, including dippy cheese, biscuits, part bake rolls, and a tub full of, well, take the lid off the Christmas cottage, will we see? Ready? We've got... Three, two, one. Chocolate! 
and a tablecloth covered in paint from when the girls did rock painting the other day. Um, I think I've found that yellow paint on just about every surface possible. We're all, um, we're all full up on our cheese and now Kev is going back in the attic because those baubles, they have to be somewhere. And the only place they can oh, yeah, possibly be, you're not allowed to look up there, missus, is in the attic. So Kev's going back in the attic for the third time to see if he can... They're definitely up there. If they're not up there, then where can they have possibly been? <laughs> Use the language. Well, oh, ouch. Where, where else can they be? They have to be up there. Oh, I'll let you off. Have you found them? Someone has chucked all the clothes over them. But they are up there. I'm not going crazy. Well, I don't know if they're pink. It should be a whole huge bag full. Yeah, more, there's more bed. Mm, should be mainly pink. Uh, more gold than what there is pink. Oh, that looks promising though. That looks like the right bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's it! That is it! That is the bag of baubles. Christmas is saved. Jenna, <laughs> make sure you put the pink one next to another pink one. No. On, on the same yeah. brand. No, not on the same brand! Yeah, you got to do that. No, you don't. Every bauble has to have two on the brand. No, no, no. Don't tell me these things. <laughs> Katie, are you enjoying your family afternoon of decorating the tree? Um, um, it was your idea of a fam it. family afternoon. Um, I'm bored. Yeah. Why, why are you bored, Felicity? It's going to be a late night. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Yeah, you want to help me sort tea out? This is currently the state of tea, look. The table is just left like that. Here's Kaylee, she's having a panic attack. She had her roots done last week. Mm. She's gonna need them doing again tomorrow. There's a magic gong <laughs> I love them. here. It, it's a good gong. It's a gong on the tree. Oh, what are you doing around the back room? Where's the gong? Are you putting some more bubbles on around the back of you? No. Where's the gong? You want to make sure you want to go up and stabilise it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, you ready, Sienna? Yeah. Are you ready, steady, go? Yeah. Go on then, do it. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Come on. Me, really? <laughs> so you can't get on like that. I still don't think she'll be able to reach. Yeah, she will. <laughs> right, can she do it? <laughs> Can you do it, Sienna? It's alright, just put the tree branch in the eye. <laughs> Come on, Baba. Can I try? <laughs> Can I try now? Well, just hold it, just hold it. There we go, she's did it. Yay! <laughs> you just have to, no, no, go back, go back. You have to stay there now until Christmas Eve. Okay. You've got to just stay there until Father Christmas has been. That's okay. Not on this one. No, it's not working, Dad. She'll just have to stay there. No, because she's on my shoulders. <laughs> Can you straighten it up? Make sure it's not wonky. We're getting there with the decorations, but these guys need to go to bed because it's about eight o'clock. So we've chosen the smiley oh, snowman. Oh, you showed them then. What have we chosen? Um, the spy. Can you read it? The smiley snowman. What else do we find in the box? See, I'm in your hand. What do we find in the box? What's in this hand? What is it? What does it say on it? Oh. What's it say? Mm -mm. You know what it says. What does it say? 
Vienna. Did you say it's Vienna? Yeah. So your little tree decoration? Yeah. Right, should we read this book? And then... I want to give a cookie. Come in the bone. Oh. Wow. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> little bear and small fox lifted a big snowball onto his huge body. My turn, cried Fluff Bunny. Let me help. Come on then, Fluff, giggled small fox. We can't leave you out. Here we go, cried little bear, lifting him up. And Fluff gave the snowman a great big smile. Yippee, squeaked Fluff. He looks really happy now. Hello, snowman. Let's go, Fluff, shrieked little bear. And small fox slided down the hill. But what about snowman, Fluff called. Don't worry, snowman, I'll stay with you. Thank you.